This is the real Tom Rose, and we're dealing with two charts, each of which represents a different function. Now, the game here is we're told that these are linear functions, which I'll interpret to mean they generate a graph of a line. And they want to know the value of a plus b. Well, there's no relation between the functions f and g, which means we're going to have to solve for a and solve for b, then add them together. So this will be a two-step problem. And let's see if we can, uh, let's start with solving for a. Generating a function equation for this is something that's going to be quite tough. So instead of doing that, instead what I'm going to do is simply draw out a set of coordinate, a coordinate plane, and I'm actually going to draw sets of coordinates on here and see if I can use that to extrapolate what A should be. So for example, I have the point 3. Let's use a different color. I've got the point 3, um, which I know should go up 2. I've got to leave, leave the room. Let's do 3 and 2. And we're looking for something linear. So we've got 6 on our table, and we don't know where that goes up to, and we've got 9 on our table. Notice 3, 6, 9, all 3 away from each other. So those are evenly spaced. We also have, so in 9, we have the point 6. So if I connect these dots, and then try to read off the chart, so let's go up and over, it looks as though this should be the value 4. And we can try plugging in, we can try plugging in 6 and 4 to see if that would yield a linear equation. So for example, if this is, um, we went 3 over for every 2 that we go up, that would make the slope, the rise over the run, rise of 2 for every 3 run. So if I go over 3, I go up 2. So I went from 3 to 6, that's 3 over, and I go up 2 to get to 4. If I go over 3 again to get to 9, and then I go up 2, do I get to 6? And I do. So I'm pretty confident that A here is 4. But let's do this again for, for variable B. Draw my axes a little bit more skewed this time. And we're going to be dealing with some different numbers this time. So we end up with 6, 12, and 24. All right. So I'm trying to keep these evenly spaced. And we'll call this 6, 12, and 24. Notice this time these are not evenly spaced. We actually have skipped 18. We're going up by sixes. And we have the numbers five. Make sure that you make these evenly spaced. So let's do five, six, seven, and eight. And I've got evenly spaced numbers on the horizontal axis, evenly spaced numbers on the vertical axis. Is it possible that our slope will be, and we know this point six five is on there. We know that 24, 8 is on here. So is it possible that we're going over 6 and up 1? So that would be 12, 6. If I go over another 6 to get to 18 and up 1, that'll give me 7. If I go over 6 again and up 1, and it's this 6 over 1 up that's constant, which makes the slope here rise over run, so 1 over 6, a constant 1 sixth. And connect those with a line to make sure that we're dealing with a line, and we are. And now you can read off the chart, 12, 
should be connected with the point 6. So B here is 6. And now we can add together these values. 4 and 6 to get 10, which will be our answer.